In wiring cords and cables with aluminium and copper strands are used. For economic reasons, cords and cables with aluminium conductors are commonly used in wiring. However, aluminium has more properties that don't make a connection fully reliable. One of them is its increased as compared to copper fluidity and oxidability with generation of non-conductive films. Aluminium oxide creates a large transient resistance, what leads to poor electric contact and excessive heating. Oxide film creates difficulties for folding and welding wires, as it has the melting point of 2050 degrees centigrade, while the melting temperature of aluminium is only 660 degrees centigrade. This film must be removed from contact surfaces and some actions must be taken in order to prevent its regeneration. To do this, they use quartz vaseline or zinc vaseline pastes, as well as power supply and network protection lubricants. Copper conductors may also be covered with an oxide film, but its influence on contact connections quality is insignificant. Moreover, this film can be easily removed. A considerable difference in the coefficient of linear thermal expansion of aluminium in comparison with other metals also results in contact faults. Therefore, aluminium wires cannot be compressed in copper lugs or attached to copper contacts of devices. Even in the case of normal operation, after a while, the wires in the places of bolted and screw connections of aluminium conductors must be tightened, since when ambient temperatures change, they may become overheated. In the case of continuous operation, aluminium begins to leak from the area of high pressure to the adjacent areas of lower pressure. Therefore, screw and bolted contact connections of aluminium conductors must not be over-tightened. The contacts of aluminium conductors with other metals are under especially adverse conditions, under the influence of moisture in the environment. A water film with the properties of an electrolyte is generated on contact surfaces, so a so-called galvanic couple is formed in the place of connection. Here aluminium acts as a negative pole and loses metal particles. It gradually molders away, so the contact fails. In this regard, connections of aluminium with copper and brass are especially undesirable. Such contact surfaces must be protected from moisture with quartz vaseline pastes, network protection lubricants or be covered with a third metal, tin or tin lead type soldier.